Good morning students. Today we will discuss about subtraction with borrowing for three digit numbers. Let us understand subtraction with borrowing for three digit numbers using some examples. Subtract six hundred seventy four from 962 we have already known that we can subtract two numbers by using two methods one is expanded method and another is sort method let us first discuss about expanded method We know that first we have to arrange the numbers in columns. Arrange 962 and 674. We have to remember that we have to <coughs> subtract the small number from the big number so we have to write down the smaller number below the greater number we know that 962 equal to 900 plus 6 tens plus two ones six hundred seventy four equal to six hundred plus seven tens plus four ones let us subtract We know that we have to subtract from ones column. Subtract four ones from two ones. We cannot subtract because four is greater than two. That's why we have to borrow from the tens place or from the tens digit. Here it is six tens. Borrow one ten from six tens and add it to the ones digit. Let us borrow it is one ten. We know that one ten equal to ten ones. Here it is two ones plus ten ones equal to twelve ones. Then subtract four ones from twelve ones. It is eight ones. Then how many how many tens are left here? Here five tens are left. Now subtract the digits in tens column. Subtract seven tens from five tens. We cannot subtract because seven is greater than five. So we have to borrow from the hundreds digit. 
borrow 100 from 900 and add to the tens digit. 100 we know that 100 equal to 10 tens so 10 tens plus 5 tens it is 15 tens now subtract 7 tens from 15 tens it is 8 tens how many hundreds are left here there are 8 hundreds left here then subtract 6 hundreds from 8 hundreds it is 2 hundreds equal to 200 plus 8 tens equal to 80 plus 8 ones equal to 8 if we add these numbers it is 288 so the difference is 288 thus 952 minus 674 equal to 288. Then let us discuss about sort method. In sort method we know that we have to first arrange the numbers in their respective places. These are the three digit numbers. In a three digit number, there are three places named as ones, tens, and hundreds. Let us arrange the numbers first. 962, then 674. Let us subtract. We know that first we have to subtract from 1's column. So subtract 4 1's from 2 1's. We cannot subtract because 4 is greater than 2. So borrow from the 10's place. And add it to the 1's digit. We know that. 1 10 equal to 10 ones. 10 ones plus 2 ones. It is 12 ones. Now subtract 4 ones from 12 ones. It is 8 ones. Then how many tens are left here? 5 tens. Let us subtract 7 tens from 5 tens. We cannot subtract 7 from 5 because 7 is greater than 5. So, let us borrow from the hundreds place. And add to the tens digit. We know that 100 equal to 10 tens. 10 tens plus 5 tens. Now it is 15 tens. Then subtract 7 tens from 15 tens. It is 8 tens. Then how many hundreds are left? Here 8 hundreds are left. Then subtract 6 hundreds from 8 hundreds. It is 2 hundreds. So, the difference is 288. Nine hundred sixty-two minus six hundred seventy-four equal to two hundred eighty-eight.